Let's talk about fear. Now, what is fear? Fear is an emotion, a primal emotion that's made through the limbic brain, which is a really old part of the brain. It's one of the most primal emotions that we feel, and it helps us survive. It's like a defense mechanism. Because fear keeps you away from danger. Things that you fear are usually things that are dangerous or threaten your well-being. So the caveman would have feared the saber-toothed tiger and run up a tree. This is to protect you. Now, the difference between the caveman and modern-day man is the times we're living in. In the 21st century, if you're living in the first world, you generally don't have too much to be afraid of. There's security and a sense of stability in your life. Food is there in great abundance. You have clean drinking water. You don't have killers running around outside or saber-toothed tigers ready to kill you. You don't have to always watch your back. There isn't that many things to be afraid of as opposed to back in the day. Now, however, despite there being a lack of things to fear, the fear is still there. We still feel it, evidently. The thing is, it's taken up a different form. It's manifested itself through different means. Previously, you were afraid of the saber-toothed tiger. Now you're afraid of confronting your boss for that new race. Previously, you were afraid of times of drought and famine. Now you're afraid of asking that girl out. It doesn't matter what the situation is, the fear or the emotion in its intensity is still there at large. However, us as 21st century human beings with our neocortex can choose to rationally think and make a decision. We have the power to make decisions, to feel the fear and do it anyway. We have the choice and we can make it, we can exercise our free will in doing that. So with the understanding that the world we live in is relatively safe, why should you be scared of taking you know, the next step, of taking a little bit of extra risk, of being able to take yourself outside the comfort zone? Inevitably, when you take yourself outside the comfort zone, you will feel the fear. It's natural. But you need to understand and think about what is more important to you. You need to know that it's only through going outside your comfort zone that you're able to evolve and prosper as a human being, as you're able to potentially reach self-actualization because you'll be pursuing growth. People that stay in their comfort zone, their little bubble, have security, they have stability, they know what's going to happen, but there is no growth. They're not in the right environment, they're not challenging themselves. It's kind of like when you go to the gym, you got to put progressive load on the muscle in order to make it bigger. If you lift the same weights every single time for the same reps, every single time you go to the gym, you're not going to make any gains. It's the same thing with life. If you're not afraid to take yourself outside your personal boundaries and do what's necessary, you're not going to make it. Now, what, in what ways do people fear in the modern age? The greatest fear is the fear of the unknown. People are afraid. It's the fear of asking that girl out and your heart beating because you're not sure about what her answer is going to be. It's the fear of quitting your day job and going all in in that new startup company that you and your friend have been daydreaming about for the past 10 years. It's that fear. You need to confront it and know that it's an indicator. Fear is the greatest indicator that you are doing the necessary things that are required for self-actualization. So when you feel it, give yourself a pat on the back and face it head on. Now, I'm not telling you to do stupid things, to go out there and hurt yourself or to put yourself in potentially dangerous situations. I'm just telling you to face some of life's adversities and some of life's challenges with a bit more boldness, with a bit more confidence, knowing that you're not going to get hurt. This is all a game. And you're a player. So play the game. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Now this is a common trait of many successful people that have made that leap of faith and they've reaped the rewards. 
Think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in a small village, I believe it was called Thau. When he was younger, he escaped the Austrian army to participate in a bodybuilding competition. This was against the rules, of course, but he did it anyway. I'm sure he would have been scared, but he chose. He exercised his free will and thought that something was more important than the fear he was feeling. And that was attending a bodybuilding competition. As a result, I ended up getting um, recognized and winning and started branding himself and gaining some fame. He felt the fear and did it anyway and he got the rewards that were necessary. He got the personal growth that was associated with it. Now Arnold also had to leave Austria and come to America with limited language skills, with limited friends in America. And once again, there's fear here, but he faced it and then there was personal growth. All of this made him a great person. He made him the governor of California, the Terminator, Arnie as we know it today. Because this is someone who was bold in his confrontation with fear. He saw it and he kicked his ass. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Feel the fear and do it anyway.